If you're sick and tired of fluffy, cuddly werewolves that aren't so bad and are just misunderstood brooding bad boys, I've got three great books, two series and one standalone that'll be an amazing palate cleanser that will satisfy even the thirstiest gore hounds. But before we get to the list, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. It'll help out the channel a ton. Now onto the list. Book 1 is Wolfland by Jonathan Jans. Synopsis Aside from a quaint amusement park, the small town of Lakeview offers little excitement for Dwayne, Savannah, and their friends. They're about to endure their 10-year high school reunion when their lives are shattered by an arrival of an ancient, vengeful evil, the werewolf. The first attack leaves seven dead and four wounded. And though the beast remains on the loose and eager to spill more blood, the sleepy resort town is about to face an even greater terror, because the four victims of the wolf's fury are changing. They're experiencing unholy desires and unimaginable cravings. They'll prey on the innocent and the depraved. They settle old scores and act on their basest desires. Soon they'll plunge their entire town into nightmare. Lakeview's about to become Wolfland. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! I stumbled across this book some years ago when I was looking for some werewolf books to read. I came across a channel by the name of Horror Addicts and they recommended this book and the host does a really good job breaking down the book. So if you're looking for more info, I'll leave that in the description. Wolfland is a gory, tense, and brutal romp through a small town being terrorized. The only thing I don't like about the book is it's a standalone. Granted, the story ends nicely since it's a standalone, but if Jonathan Jans had decided to make this a series, I would not have complained. And also, if you decide not to watch the Horror Addicts review, I'll just warn you. You may think, oh I can handle it, but Wolfland goes to some very dark and depraved places. I'm talking like, characters drinking their own period blood dark and gross. So yeah, if you don't watch the review, that's just as much warning as you're gonna get. If <laughs> you can't handle characters drinking period blood, step away. Book 2 is High Mo by Graham Reynolds. Synopsis When John Simpson hears of a bizarre animal attacking his old hometown of High Moor, it stirs memory of a long forgotten horror. John knows the truth. A werewolf stalks the town once more and on the night of the next full moon, the killing will begin again. He should know. He survived the wolf attack in 1986, during the worst year of his life. It's 1986 and the town is gripped in terror after the mutilated corpse of a young boy is found in the woods. When Sergeant Stephen Wilkins begins an investigation with the help of a specialist hunter, he soon realizes that this is no ordinary animal attack. Werewolves are real, and the trail of bodies is just beginning, with young John and his friend smack in the middle of it. Twenty years later, John returns to Highmoor. The latest attack involved one of his childhood enemies, but there's more going on than meets the eye. The consequences of his past actions, the reappearance of an old flame, and a dying man who will either save or doom him are the least of his problems. The night of the full moon is approaching and time is running out. But how can he hope to stop a werewolf when every full moon he transforms into a bloodthirsty monster himself? For this one, I've got no tale about how I stumbled upon this via YouTube recommendations. I was just scrolling through my Audible feed and they saw fit to recommend this to me. And boy am I glad that they did. Highmore had me hooked from book 1 straight to the end, that is book 3. You've got action, horror, buckets of blood and viscera. What more could a werewolf fan want? And you've got some pretty good world building too to boot. Though don't expect any Brandon Sanderson stuff, this is still a werewolf book after all. Also, listen to the audiobook. The narrator Chris Barnes makes this book mwah, just chef's kiss. Now, our final book on the list. Book 3 is Wolf Hunt by Jeff Strand. Synopsis. Two thugs, one innocent woman, and one vicious freaking werewolf. Meet George and Lou, thugs for hire. The kind of intimidating yet friendly guys who'll break your thumbs, but be polite about it. Their latest assignment is to drive across Florida to deliver some precious cargo to a crime lord. The cargo? A man in a cage. 
Though Ivan seems perfectly human, they're warned that he is, in fact, a bloodthirsty werewolf. George and Lou don't believe in the supernatural, but even if they did, it's daytime and tonight isn't the full moon. Their instructions are straightforward. Do not open the cage. Do not reach into the cage. Do not throw anything into the cage. And they don't. Unfortunately, Ivan doesn't play by the usual werewolf rules, and the thugs find themselves suddenly responsible for a furious escaped beast. One who can transform at will. One who enjoys killing in human form as much as he enjoys killing as a monster. If George and Lou want to save their careers, dozens of people and their own lives, they need to recapture him. Because Ivan the werewolf is in the mood for a murder spree. From Jeff Strand, the four-time Bram Stoker Award-nominated author for Pressure, comes 75,000 words of action-packed, blood-soaked werewolf terror. If you are tired of werewolf books that take themselves just a bit too seriously, Wolf Hunt is the series for you. George and Lou are two lovable thugs who you can't help but root for. Even Ivan, the murderous psycho that he is, has a sick sort of charm that brings the book nicely together. I can't recommend this series enough, and just because the book has a sense of humor, do not think the blood and guts aren't plentiful. It's on par with both of the books on this list. But with that being said, that brings us to a close. That's the list, and I hope that you left here with at least one new series filled with teeth, claws, and buckets of blood. All the books are linked down in the description below, but before you leave, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. But that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.